are in Nepal this month and last week we were in Pokhara and we got to work at a school and meet the principal who had an awesome, awesome story and for a couple months I've been praying for an opportunity to make a film that will actually help empower an organization or a ministry and it's funny because it's month five and up until now I hadn't had the chance to do that. But last week after meeting with him, hearing his story and their vision for um, the new building that they want to create, I got so excited. So I just want to share a little bit about the behind the scenes process and how that whole story came together. Hello! Good morning! <laughs> So I just got done interviewing Principal Titus and he's going to be an incredible person to carry this story. He has such a heart for the school. He actually started the school and sacrificed so much in order to do it. And I'm going to start drawing out the plot line. Here it is, the finished storyline that we're going to use for the interview questions and for the shot list. And right now I am location scouting. Here at the school, there doesn't seem to be any place that is going to be quite quiet enough, which is not a surprise with all the kids running around. Considered his office, but the lighting isn't great, so I'm going to keep exploring and see what we can find. Alright, so we are going to film with Jason the interview portion today, and we're going to just do it here at the guest house so it's a little bit quieter. And I want to show you our makeshift kind of creative setup that we got going on because when you travel you can't bring all of the gear that you actually want to bring or need. So here we go. This is my tripod setup. So the awesome tripod that I have wasn't quite tall enough so I had to put it on this table. We're using a good old Zoom H1 I think it's called with a lav mic for audio. I've also got a shotgun mic attached to my Lumix GH5, which I'm loving. So what we're gonna do is shoot in 4K so that in post we can punch in and out for the two different views. And of course we didn't have a stool. So we've got a chair with a bag full of blankets and clothes on top that he's gonna sit on top of. And then here's our beautiful background, mountains overlooking the neighborhood. And then our fill light, because we didn't have a bounce or anything like that, we're using a mirror from downstairs shoved in a pack of water bottles for stability. So sometimes you just gotta get creative on set. So you, you kind of said it in there, but you had to give up a lot in yeah. order, in order yeah. to kind of fulfill what God had called you to do. Yeah. Though I was grown up in a Christian family, but I was not a one hundred Christian. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the experience of salvation. There was always a fear in my life that what happens if I die? Alright, so the interview went really, really well. Um, he's very natural on camera and I'm excited to start going through the interview footage. Now that the interview is done, I'm going to take it into Premiere and start chopping it up and putting it into sequence. We literally only have three days of production um, because of our tight schedule. So yesterday I did the pre-interviews, today I did the actual, you know, filming the, of the interview, and then Tomorrow I'm going to do shooting b-roll. Friday will be whatever last minute b-roll we need to capture. So, um, it's really important that I get the story put together today and figure out exactly what needs to be on my shot list and have this thing wrapped up in a week. That is the goal. So today is the second day of b-roll filming. Yesterday we got some really good shots of Sir Jason for the opening sequence. And then today we'll focus more on getting shots of the kids and some of those closing shots. I am back in Kathmandu and for the last three days I have been on my computer just editing, editing, editing. It's been so fun, like still it's incredible to me that I'm in a foreign country. I just captured a film that can be used for propelling the kingdom forward here in Nepal. And 
I am really excited to share that with you guys. But I do have a feeling that I'll need to put it in a private link just because of the nature of the vision and some of the things that are that is shared. So I do invite you guys to take the time to click on that link and take a look at the finished product.